I've never seen this brand before. Maybe I've seen them here at NAMM and just never <laughs> picked them like, up. We're looking at all the brands that <laughs> what the crap. Okay, um, good morning, NAMM day, what? Two? Two. Friday. Friday NAMM, um, Ryan from that thing. Whatever it is. You know what I can't stand? I can't stand freaking YouTubers running around in shirts, like self-glorifying them. I know. You know, with like logos on them, and just like, <sighs> look at me, look at me how cool I am. Uh, it's, you know, that's my channel. Uh. It's like, some people just like try too hard, you know, if and it's you're gross. Not, it's if gross. you're not popular enough to be recognized by this, yeah. what are you doing here? I don't think the shirts will help. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> <laughs> they probably hurt you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> so um, we're here at the column of diamond. Diamond column, see him? <laughs> it's, too, it's too early. <laughs> I'd say it's too early to be funny, but that means it's it's always too early to be funny because I never am. <laughs> so you you gravitated towards this. The craziest one that I saw. So. Uh, oh my god, okay. the green sparkle went over there. It's too high for me to grab, but I'm gonna go take a peek. Here. Well, you, know, you, show, you show that guitar, I grab the green one. Oh yeah, I need to hold that. You know, you, you go show this. I okay, sh okay. I'll, I'll grab this. This is, a, uh, this is a green and black pointy guitar. It's got one, two, three, and you think you're done. There's no point there. But there's a fourth point up here. It's very pointy. It reminds me of like a squirt gun or something like that. It looks like it has a uh, like a fun Toys R Us toy element to it. Like I would have bought this as a toy when I was, you know, like 11 years old or something like that. Like this is like a, a cartoon guitar, like a cartoon character would play yes, in a cartoon ab band. Absolutely. And something about that makes it just fantastic. Like. Yeah, when, when or, or in like some movie where the metal band are the bad guys. Yeah. And they have to fight another metal band that's the good guys somehow, even though they're yeah. kind and of they, the same they play thing. All, they all play beat up strats or something. If you, the neck is very tiny, feels very fast. I don't know anything about this brand. The frets are a little bit sharp on the edges. Apparently they're... Not good. sharp, but they're, you know, there's this whole like style where they're like very tactile. They're not sharp, but you know what I mean? They're not sharp, but you feel them. Yeah, but like you're not, you're not going to ignore those frets. Apparently Diamond, um, is a good brand. People always ask me, what do you think about Diamond, Diamond, Diamond? And um, this, well, th th this I wouldn't buy, but I know this. Oh, this I, is me. This is you times 10. <sighs> and look how it's it's thin on the sides. It's, it's a hollow body this that's like an This is crazy. This is this cr crazy, thin, semi-hollow, hyper glitter concept. The shape is Everything I love. This is fantastic. And like, I've been sitting at a booth just over there all day yesterday. I didn't see this thing. This is Ryan. It I even like the headstock. I usually hate a lot of different headstocks, but that's a nice, classy headstock. But I mean, it's a hollow body that's like an Ibanez Saber. Yeah. With a Bixby on it. <laughs> oh man. This, this says you, I mean, it, it doesn't have, fucked up pickups. It would probably need... Well, like, I can put those in. Like a, a P90 in the middle, up sideways or something. Then this, it's you. This needs like a Moserite pickup in the bridge and then just take out the neck pickup and slam like a... a two lipsticks in there. A two lipsticks in there. <laughs> <laughs> They're not humbuckers. There's just two of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, this is you all the way. Um, hangs on the wall for $8.99, which means you can probably what? get this... Yeah, quite a bit cheaper. At that price, you could probably be get that from them. This is, I, I say this sometimes about various guitars, but this is one of those guitars where you get this and you build a band around this. Oh, oh, hell yeah. You write songs just because of this guitar. The sparkles. Yeah. I think the-, the Ryan and the sparkles. I love the sparkles. The fretwork's about the same as the other one, where it you know, stands up pretty tall on the edges, but it's not, it's not sharp, but yeah, you definitely feel them. I saw a couple of other ones, and they're very intriguing, especially when you look at the pricing. Um, Let's take a um, well, well, there's a very nice back, one back there, but let's, let's look at the sexiness of this. Um, and again, ultra thin. Yeah. I wonder how they sound because, I mean, 
Where is that same cut style? Where, where does you take this? Because I have coffee. You've got a coffee. You got to drink your coffee. Where does the tone come from? Your fingers, Henning. Everyone knows that. But, but I mean, you need some. You don't need some body. I don't know, man. This is, it is ultra sexy how thin it is. For SG, this is a little bit pointy. It's not a guitar for little kids to play with. It's not really an SG. It's its own thing. It's a different thing. It's SG-ish, but I love. Just because it's got devil horns. Yeah, but <laughs> um, it is not white. It is like a sparkly white cream, cream white. It looks like snow. And look at this. I love how the headstock. Can you see that in the camera? It's rounded off. Oh yeah. At least here. See, see if we can see that. See if we can. They can see that. It's got a volute. It's got a little bit of a roundness. It doesn't there. have locking tuners. Which made in what? Made in Korea. Let me look for the price. You show more. Um, this is a fun guitar. What's up, Ryan? Hey, how's it going? It says 749. Really great uh, heel access on uh, this one and the last one that I picked up. Probably the first one too. Just really slim. I'm going to look Heel up there. street pricing on this because now I want to know. I'm going to go to Choman. I'm going to put in. No, go away. I'm going to put in diamond. Diamond guitars. The action is stupid fast. Like super, super low action. Um, Almost like to the point where I would raise the action if I got this. The guitar. Renegade, not this one, but the standard Renegade is $459. What? The one we just looked at, not the green sparkle, but that model. No. It's three eighty nine. No. So that's got to be like like four seventy five US or something like that. Not even. Not even. Not even. That's. Cr you should talk to them because you I'm can, gonna talk you to them. You can probably. I'm gonna have words with those people. <laughs> yes. Come on. <laughs> I mean, again, that's green sparkle, but uh, I saw something else back here. Okay, Ooh, there, there, there's a lot of stuff to say about this guitar. It, it, take it in your hand, and you know you know why. Where's the weight? It's there's no weight. It's immediate. Like there's no, there's no time to wait for this thing. You got to get it right now. That's oh, my sales wow. pitch. <laughs> oh, no, this is, this is. Oh, Ryan. The lightest guitar. We have we have to talk. <laughs> it's early. about the humor. It's early. <laughs> I haven't even eaten breakfast yet. Have you ever done the Nam breakfast thing? You don't know about. It? I think it's an exhibitor thing. But apparently there's supposed to be like a really good breakfast, but I think really? I'm going to miss it. Who cares? I have uh, frozen burritos in my fridge because I have a kitchen in my hotel. Ah, okay. And um, I didn't feel like, oh no, I had a ham and cheese croissant from uh, Starbucks where I was standing there and the really cute server lady recognized me. What? Yeah. She's like, you, you, you at Starbucks? I'm like, well, at some point I am at some Starbucks somewhere in the world. So <laughs> this is a coincidence. <laughs> I got, I mean, this is inside baseball in between YouTube guys, but uh, I got recognized at my local hamburger <laughs> shop, like the one I go to that's close to my house. I'm like, great, now I can't go here anymore. <laughs> too famous. And it was by, it was by a, the employee there. It wasn't by like someone else going there. Well, that means, um, from now on, there's gonna be paparazzi lurking around the corner. Is Ryan gonna come? Is Ryan from 60 Cycle Hanko Girl? Um, let's talk about the guitar. Yeah. Um, Beautiful finish. Absolutely stunning top. Like, it's got that iridescent, like, flamey thing going on. I don't know if you can pick that up in the I, camera. I love the color. Um, I like the string through body with a little bit of a curve mm -hmm. here. I don't, I don't a, a the switch tip. Look at it. It's got a big ass ball on it. It's weird. It's kind of loose and kind of wobbly. And I think it's placed completely in the wrong position because in in the action of playing, you're not gonna. It's right yeah. between the knobs. Oh, we got push pulls. Nice. Just on the volume. So. I mean, look at the matching spread, headstock. It's beautiful. Oh yeah. That's kind of nuts, and I bet it's gonna be beautiful. another like four hundred dollar guitar. Beautiful blue. In the, um, you know, you know how they're saving money? Less wood. Super, super thin. Less That's, wood. by the way, what I do too. He's saying I'm the one with the bad jokes. <laughs> and he's like, no, he's got to make a penis joke. No, I, I think there's only one YouTuber, there's only space for one YouTuber that can make really bad jokes because otherwise, you know, I, I, have no, I don't know where to go from there. <laughs> I think the only thing I don't like about their guitars is the truss cover. 
Yeah. If I owned one, I might swap that trust cover for it's something. A, it's a bit much. More uh, like like standard, just kind of plain Jane, because it's a, it's pushing into like the kind of like tribal tattoo kind of territory, visually. Here we have some people might like that, but the the rest of the guitar are are really classy and really well designed visually. Here I want we thicker. The, we have the same color. Yeah. Thicker body, different model, but with a really cool kind of Hartung Dean. No, 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 no. What Zelinski? Is he something? Calf, which I very much like. This is pretty damn cool. Yeah, that's kind of like the same idea, heavier, but with the calf, that's pretty yeah. damn cool. I like that. That you were saying is like the Dean Zelinski sort of thing. Yeah, oh, and Frank Hartung does it too. I mean, you don't see this in in inexpensive guitars usually. Well, I, f I feel like on this one that I'm holding right here, the quality control kind of falls apart on the uh, that binding right in here. It just looks like it got mucked up with you know, glue and kind of rough cuts. I don't know, this is this is one where I'm not as into it. I mean, you've got a continuation of this custom Ryan! hardware. Ryan! Ryan! <laughs> Henning, Henning found something he likes. <laughs> He's so excited. Come on. I mean, it's not my thing. I mean, I don't really like the What, you don't thing. like pretty? <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> I liked the the flamey one on that that thin one earlier, but I don't like quilty usually. Like I like I like this better, like the finish on this better, the kind of matte quilty. I mean flamey, but I don't like this this abalone center stripe. Like this is pushing into like the looks that I'm not that big into. But the green sparkle. Oh, the green sparkle. Hold this. That guitar in but, every but, color but, sparkle. But, but look, look at it. Look at it. Look, look, look. I mean, it's pretty. It is very pretty. I'm not going to say it's not pretty. It's a spalted maple natural tree. You can't see this. Um, and he's not going to show it to you. No, no. <laughs> uh, but then into the into the green, blue, and with a completely overdone, whoa, mother of Abba Pearly. Abba um, Pearly? I don't know. <laughs> um, and look at the look at the back. He loves it. Set great neck. neck great but, neck. But look, look at this. Come on. This is my jam. Me and my homies, we go to town on this. I don't know how you talk. I don't talk like that. I'm, I'm from a small German village. I feel like I would be more into this. I, I say this a lot with various guitars. Like, I'd be more into this if it had a big like white pick guard on it to break it up a bit. <laughs> um, they also make amps. They're everywhere. Oh, there's, okay, this is the high-end diamond shit that we just looked at, because that amp is 2,500 bucks. What? Which means these guitars are not going to be inexpensive. These, these two guitars, I guarantee you, are not inexpensive. Oh! Uh, Ryan finds, uh, found something spark. This is 2,900. Why are there how, amp, how do they pull are it they off? an amp company that happens to make guitars? Like, how, what's how, how do they pull it off to have inexpensive guitars and penetrate the, the beginner to intermediate market, but then also try to cater to the high-end market? That's, di that's, dif that's a difficult really thing wild. to do. This, this guitar has like this like rice rocket color shifting paint job on here that I, I don't know, I kind of like this. Still, I, I feel like- I love that you said rice rocket. Because when I say, say stuff like that, I, I get uh, labeled like offensive and racist and stuff. It's but a, that's what you call it, I know. It, I mean, that's what you know people call them, I guess. Yeah. It is kind of offensive. I'm sorry. Co comment. This is a Hennings video, so I'm not going to catch the flack. Co <laughs> come complain to me on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> now, I really like this, this stop tail hardware. It doesn't have like the crazy design on it. It's just this big block of metal that looks custom. It doesn't look like any other stop tail. What's a big block of what? A metal. That's not how you say that. What do I say? That's a big block of metal! <laughs> That's how you say that. <laughs> I think this is classy. I, th I I like the look of this. Oh, interesting that, heel Yeah, here. that's... Like interesting... Just like know, a little, little step in there. It's a bolt-on. 
which is, I haven't seen any other guitars that are bolt-ons. All right, that's, a, that's weird. But instead of doing a, a neck plate, they did these big uh, washers and a, and a cutaway to make it a little slimmer. I'm really intrigued now, because there's some that I really like, there's some that are, you know, cartoony. Yeah. Uh, but the pricing looks very interesting, and the, the cool thing is that it's a guitar, it, it's, it, that it's a company where I can find something that I really like, something that you really like, and something that possibly you can afford. So I think we owe it to, not you, us, to talk to them, because I think we should show these. And I, I think wanna, so. And I want to hear them on amps. I mean, my, my audience loves anything that's like affordable and plays, and the, this seems to be the ticket. These yep. are affordable guitars that feel like players, and are, they're lookers too. Like us. <laughs> oh yeah. This is the hot stuff at NAMM. Henning yeah, and I. It doesn't get hotter than the us. Two pastiest people at NAMM. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? I mean, yeah, you, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you have an excuse. You're German. What's my excuse? I'm a, I'm a Southern Californian. I'm supposed to be tan and stuff. <laughs> so. Cool guitars. So yeah, that, that's, the, now they turn the lights off. Um, Whatever. Uh, Won't Nan you leave us. a light on for me? So, you know, Belinda Carla. Oh, I know the song. It's a good song. It's a good song. I had that on cassette. <laughs> do you, I'm, do you I'm, still listen to it on cassette? No. No, okay. <laughs> Henning's not a cassette hipster. Oh, well. Are you? Are you? I, are you? Oh, oh, am I? You're saying, are you? I heard, are you? No, I'm not. I'm not a cassette hipster. I think that's ridiculous. <laughs> I think people listening to cassettes now is ridiculous. I have a, um, a sweater that has tons of cassettes on it. It's a good sweater. Well, you know, you know I, I'm known for very beautiful sweaters. Beautiful sweaters. Beautiful. <laughs> Exquisite fashion sense. Yes. I'm not sporting them here because everyone would be jealous. Chicks would be around me. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to work. It would be a distraction. Yes, absolutely. Um, yeah, um, Diamond Guitars, gotta change the battery, and... Um, Get on that battery, Diamond. I'll go put this back, you can close it out. <laughs> um, <laughs> thanks to Ryan, uh, link to his channel below. Uh, no, at the end, little bubble, click it, like it, transcribe it, no, subscribe it. You don't transcribe to a channel, you subscribe to a channel. You subscribe. That's it. Yeah, and you have to pay extra for transcribing. Go away. <laughs> um, the link's below. Animals at the end. Oh. All right, I got a special.